women's fiction, it's very important to differentiate between external conflict, which is all the stuff you know about your mother-in-law and you know the not being able to have a baby or the bombs or the guns or the car chases or the bad guy or the other woman and all of that sort of thing. And internal conflict, which is the conflict that's inside your character and which is what really drives the story, the things that really matter to your character and that they have to overcome in order to get their happy ever after. Um, and this exercise was to help you create internal conflict in your character. That is, to give your character a good quality that is part and parcel of their greatest flaw at the same time. So you look at a good quality of your character and then you look at the direct other side of that same quality, which is their worst flaw. Because they won't want to get rid of their flaw, they'll want to get rid of their flaw, sorry, but in order to do that, they have to question what makes them good. And that leads to a lot of conflict within your character where they're trying to find the balance. And actually, in real life, you can find a lot of people who are like this, um, who you like them for one thing, but that, other, that thing in another context just drives you crazy, um, and in ourselves. And we were talking about um, Snape in Harry Potter, for example, who has this two sides of the same coin. Um, his tragic flaw is the same thing as his best point, which is his loyalty.